hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys we start off with a pidgin language idiomatic expression we do like our idioms on this channel so to that idiom Peking we say in mama no go sleep himself no go no sleep Peking we say in mama no go sleep himself no go no sleep so that doesn't need any translation every nigerian understands pidgin uh, language so to that end guys i bring you this buhari now prisoner in london placed under house arrest and can't visit his doctors a headline attributed to Renu Omokri. so you've all of course seen of the all the videos of the demonstrations that surrounds the Abuja house in London day and night with people chanting and asking that Buhari go, goes back to Nigeria to go and take advantage of the health facilities in that country. Buhari of course has been the president of that country for six years solid now so within those six years he should have done enough to provide enough at least of a medical health care facilitation for the country and he of course should lead by example by partaking in the medical facilitation that he has provided for the country again the headline buhari now a prisoner in london placed under house arrest and can't visit his doctors a headline attributed to reno omokri so now let's now see now what reno has to say this time around. Renu Omokri, a former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, says protesters have successfully put President Mohamed Buhari under house arrest in London. Buhari is currently in London where he is spending two weeks to enable him undergo a medical checkup. To express their displeasure at the medical trip, Omokri and a group of protesters have been protesting at the gate of the Nigeria House, brandishing placards with different inscriptions. The former presidential aide in a series of tweets said the protesters have made General At M. Buhari a prisoner in London. He said, the hashtag harass Buhari out of London movement has effectively made General at M. Buhari a prisoner at Abuja House. He is under house arrest. He can't come out. He can't sneak out to see his beloved doctors. We have shown him who really has the power. Power belongs to the people. Now he knows. I thank Nigerians for coming out for two days of the hashtag harass Buhari out of London. Somebody suspected to be Buhari was peeping through the window. Their plan to go to the doctor was frustrated. For the second day, General at M. Buhari was trapped at Abuja House. What a good day for Nigeria. Buhari has embarked on several trips to the United Kingdom to seek medical care since he assumed office. In 2019, the president had lamented that Nigeria was losing about 400 billion naira to medical tourism annually. So there you have it. Half of that sum at least would have been spent by a uh, Malam Buhari, of course, but there you have it now. The people have laid siege on the Abuja house in London and they are surrounding it. So I suspect that it will be in the dead of night that they will manage finally to sneak this guy out of uh, that place. And I hope that he is looking out of the window to fill the temple of Nigerians. So this is a guy that has been categori categorically rejected by Nigerians, of course. They voted him out of office in 2019, but he was foisted upon the nation by uh, uh, Mahmoud Yakubu and uh, ably backed up by Tanko Mohammed, but then of course the voice of the people will be heard. If the people support this guy's regime, things will be running smoothly. But there are protestations in Lagos, protestations in Abuja, protestations in the eastern states, protestations in the southwestern states, and when this guy travels to uh, a civilized country, he will meet frontally Nigerians protesting as well. So now you cannot claim that you are there by the popular will of the people and be suffering this level of backlash and it will get to that point where the British will have to knock on his door and say look 
we cannot continue to contend uh, with this. You are constituting a nuisance to this space. But then, of course, they would not say that because, of course, Britain gets free oil from Nigeria and they have been doing for 60 years. So they will continue to look the other way as they have continued to look the other way all through the history of Nigeria. So we are on our own, effectively, is the message. But thankfully, the United Kingdom is a rule of law country, is a social welfare type country, and it's a freedom of speech, freedom of expression, a sort of a country. So however much it pains, the British government that these people are there demonstrating, they will never make one single move to stop people demonstrating. Because of course, Britain is noted for that. Go to Speaker's Corner and it's just all manners of abuse being thrown at all manners of leaders all over the world, from the Saudi prince to the Indos Indonesian uh, finance minister. Everybody gets abuse at Speaker's Corner. So freedom of expression and freedom of action is uh, very much ingrained within the British system and that of course is what facilitates for this demonstration now. So imagine this demonstration anywhere in Nigeria. Uh, you can hold up that placard but you will not put it down because it will be falling out of your hands as hails of bullets uh, from an AK-47 rain into your body. That is the Nigerian way. So Malam Buhari is now looking out of the window now asking where the troops are and why these people are not being machine gunned down on the streets of uh, London. But then, of course, a different system. So here is now Malam Buhari getting a little bit of a feel of uh, the sort of uh, foisting upon that he foisted upon Chowore and uh, da, da, Dasuki, etc. Countless people that they just pick up and lock up at will without any recourse to law. I mean, what is law in Nigeria anyway? A lawless country. But then, of course, the rule of law is what obtains in the United Kingdom and how the rule of law applies is being demonstrated now frontally to Buhari with the citizens of Nigeria who have been forced uh, out of a country that should be the pearl of the whole world given all of the resources but have been forced out of that country through the sheer need uh, just for, for, for survival and they have found themselves in a place now like the United Kingdom and then availing themselves then of all of the freedoms that that country has to offer to show Buhari the example of what a civilized society looks like. So it is that civilization that is the United Kingdom that is imprisoning Buhari in a in, in uh, Abuja house uh, in London. So that is what is going on because of course, if he had gone to Saudi for his treatment, any Nigerian that even coughs anywhere within a hundred miles, they would just gun him down or anywhere in the... So if he comes to a civilized country though, then he will get to feel civilized behavior. Conversations in the comment section, the Nigerian citizens have at last gotten what they are, they have been anchoring for, even if though temporarily, the imprisonment of the headman of the Fulani headsmen. Come share thoughts, but before you come into the comment section to engage, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Click on like as well because that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Once you've done all the clickings, the Nigerians have spoken, uh, at least the Nigerians in London have spoken. Now what says you? So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section, but here I say peace.